Hi, and welcome to the video course for Windows 7, the Enterprise Desktop Support Technician, to prepare you for the 70-685 exam. Uh, my name is Patrick Lohner. I'm going to be your instructor on this course. Uh, let's start a little bit with my background. I've been in IT for almost 15 years. I've been working with Microsoft operating systems since the days of, of Windows NT. I got my first MCSE certification on Windows NT and have moved all the way up now to current with Windows Server 2012 and Windows 8. I've been using Windows 7 personally and in business settings ever since it was released. Uh, it is uh, certainly my favorite operating system you know, uh, since Windows XP and I think it definitely has eclipsed that in many ways that we'll see throughout this course. Uh, I have worked with it in business environments, doing upgrades uh, on operating systems uh, or migrations, I should say, of Windows 7 to systems that ran Windows XP, to systems that ran Vista, uh, working with Windows 7 in domain environments, applying group policies and troubleshooting systems, as well as the uh, image-based deployment uh, of the Windows 7 operating system. Uh, so I feel like I've uh, got a lot of experience and hopefully can pass that experience on to you to get you prepared to work with this operating system as well as to pass the exam. Uh, let's look at the objectives that we're going to go through on this course. Uh, they do map to the objectives of the certification exam. Now we're going to start with the installation, configuration, uh, or excuse me, installation, upgrading, and migrating to Windows 7. So start at the beginning and that's the install. I will look at some of the new key features in Windows 7, the types of installations, and the steps and tools that you'll use to upgrade and migrate successfully. We'll look at the disk management and device drivers, two very fundamental parts of any operating system. We'll look at some of the new things that Windows 7 has in those areas. Next, we'll look at configuring file access and printers. So we'll be talking things like NTFS file permissions and shared folders, setting up network printers, kind of covering the groundwork first to make sure that we understand these various components before we move into uh, servicing them and supporting them. And so from there, we will go to uh, identifying and resolving logon problems. You know, kind of shifting gears a bit, using that information that we know about permissions, authentication, authorization to troubleshoot those issues. What kind of services are involved? You know, what is DNS used for? DHCP? How about Active Directory? And how do these processes actually work so that when something goes wrong, I'm able to and you're able to fix those? Then we'll look at configuring network connectivity. Again, we'll just kind of cover the basics, TCP IP, IP addressing, IPv6 fundamentals, and the various utilities that you have to configure uh, your network communication. And we'll move right there, right from there into troubleshooting network issues. And so we'll go through each and every TCP IP utility that you can use uh, to troubleshoot those problems. We'll cover name resolution in depth so that you know all the different pieces that are used for DNS uh, and possibly for NetBIOS name resolution. And we'll look at mobile computing and remote access. Talk about some of the benefits that Windows 7 has for, uh, for portable computers, and there are quite a few. And then we'll look at different types of remote access, VPNs, direct access, and branch cache. We'll spend a good deal of time looking at security, uh, various aspects of the Windows 7 operating system. Again, understanding them completely so that we can troubleshoot and support them. Things like user account control, the Windows firewall with advanced security, um, application control policies, et cetera. And so by covering those and, and looking at them, we'll be able to support them better. Uh, optimizing and troubleshooting performance and reliability is next. We'll look at the performance monitoring tools and how to optimize uh, CPU, memory, disk access, and the like. And then finally, we'll look at maintaining those desktops, uh, doing updates, uh, various startup and recovery tools, backing up, restoring, uh, the system restore uh, capabilities. You know, so really trying to cover the operating system as a whole. Uh, from start to finish, not only how it works, but how to uh, identify, troubleshoot, and resolve issues. And so it's my goal here to, uh, again, pass on a lot of information to you to get you ready to work with Windows 7 in a business environment and get you ready to pass that exam. Let's get started. 